Good evening and welcome to the news from Shirok TV. In our headlines tonight, Sudan signs historic peace deal with five key rebel groups. Sudan and South Sudan agree to remove obstacles to economic integration. Sudan calls for a scaling up level of GRD negotiations to heads of states. Sudan's power-sharing government signed a peace agreement with the country's five key rebel groups on Monday, a significant step towards resolving deep-rooted conflicts that rage under former leader Omar al-Bashir. The groups that signed include the Justice and Equality Movement and Minni Minnawi Sudan Liberation Army, both of the western region of Darfur and Sudan's People's Liberation Movement North, led by Malik Agar, present in South Kordofan and Blue Nile. The Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok has given the peace agreement which signed on Monday in Juba as a gift, the peace agreement to the displaced children and refugees who have been afflicted by the woes of war and lost their homes, pledging to complete the peace process. He stressed that the agreement signing marks the start in the path of peace, the peace which requires a strong and firm will, like the will of the December Revolution, which has destroyed the fortress of tyrants and despots. Peace agreement on East Track between the governments of Sinan and the East Front was signed on Monday in Juba. President of South Sudan, Lieutenant General Salfakir Mirdet, signed on behalf of South Sudan, and the first Vice President of the Sovereign Council and Head of the Government Delegation, Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu, Usama Saeed, signed for opposition Bija Congress, and Khalid Idris, signed on behalf of the United People's Front for Liberation and Justice. The Sudanese Minister of Finance agreed with her South Sudanese counterpart to remove all obstacles to economic integration between the two countries. Hiba Mohamed Ali held a meeting with her counterpart in Juba, Salvatore Garang, to discuss economic integration and cooperation between the two countries and ways to overcome obstacles. Speaking after the meeting, Mohamed Ali stated that they discussed issues, crossing points, border trade, free zones on the border, particularly the establishment of a commercial zone in Kosti and an industrial zone in Jabalin. The two areas are in the White Nile state. She added that the discussions dealt also with banks, currency presses, as Khartoum proposed to press the South Sudanese banknotes. The head of the Sudanese side of a BA Joint Oversight Committee, AGOC, welcomed the recent meeting of the Deputy Chairman of the Sovereignty Council with the leaders of Ngog Dinka of the disputed ABA area. Hemeti, who chairs the government negotiating team for peace talks with the armed groups, vowed to settle the issue of the dispute border area of ABA after the end of the Juba process for peace in Sudan. As the Dean Osman al-Sheikh, chairman of the Miseria tribe of Abiyye, in a press conference held on Sunday, said that they value the efforts of the state leadership and its interest in the Abiyye issue to achieve peace and stability in the region. Al-Sheikh also emphasized the committee's endeavors to establish security and stability, repair the social fabric and make Abiyye a zone of integration between Sudan and South Sudan. The Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources, Professor Yasser Abbas, said that Sudan called for a change in the method of negotiation between the three countries on the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam to enable experts and international observers to play a greater role in the negotiation. The Minister pointed out in the regular forum of the Sudan News Agency this evening to the divergences in negotiating positions, especially between Egypt and Ethiopia, as there was a fallback towards reaching an agreement at the end of the round set by the African Union in August 2020, which based on the terms that were agreed upon in the previous rounds. The minister underlined that Sudan is committed to negotiation at any time and anywhere, stressing and scaling up the level of negotiations from the ministers to the heads of the states of the three countries through the African Union to provide political push-up for the negotiation. And now we remind you with the headlines. Sudan signs historic peace deal with five key rebel groups. Sudan and South Sudan agree to remove obstacles to economic integration. Sudan calls for a scaling up level of GORD negotiations to heads of state. Well, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.